All right, so we all know that one guy or girl in high school, they just loved to take credit for everything. Everything. Maybe they were just in your family even, eh? mm. just taking credit for, I did this, I did that, me, me, me. Did you know that there's a city in America that also does that? Oh, do tell, Sean. I'm looking at you, Nashville. Mm. Hey, I don't want to be the guy to hate on Nashville. Awesome city, awesome great city. city. But I feel like they get musical credit for everything that's ever been invented in music. Right. Like the Nashville method. The Nashville method, which is like, or the Nashville counting method, which is like, here's the major scale. One, two, three, four, five. Go from a one to a four to a five. That's the Nashville counting method? Didn't Mozart like, was it? Use it? Mozart was using numbers back in the day. Yeah. When Nashville so was just a, a glimmer and... Davy Crockett's eye. Whoa. Is that historically accurate? <laughs> Probably not. not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, the Nashville, Nashville tuning yes. is another thing. I don't uh, know. I don't, whatever. I digress. But today, we're, we're going to talk, talk about the Nashville scale. The Nashville scale. Which, again, Nashville getting credit for. Um, a lot of people have, I, I've heard rumors in the middle, like, hey, explain the Nashville scale. So I'm going to show you what this so-called Nashville scale is. Uh, first finger on the first fret of the B, second finger on the second fret of the D. Okay. And we have these two notes. So I'm going to take, like, I'm just plucking up these two fingers. And we have well, one and two, okay? And then three and three, five and five, six and seven. You can even take it to eight and nine, ten and ten, twelve and twelve. And back to well, 13, 14 octopi. That's the Nashville scale? That's what they say. It that is. sounds like the major scale to me. It does. More importantly, it sounds like major chords played mm. in order. Mm. So let's dissect But in it. Nashville. The Nashville. So Nashville you know style. we're doing it right. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the if you look, I'm playing a C chord. And all I'm playing here is this. This is my C major arpeggio or, or chord tone or double stop, really. Mm -hmm. Now, a version about a minor chord that a lot of people do or don't know about is this guy here. This is a D, this is my root note, this is a D minor. Okay, so look, if you look here, we have this and we have this. And we have C and we have D minor. And now I'm gonna move this up to an E minor. And then I'm gonna play an F chord and I'm playing these two pieces. That's an F chord and a G chord. And then your A minor. And then your B diminished, but really it's just the one to five. And then back to your C. The Nashville scale is nothing more than the C major chords in order played as double stops. Nothing more, nothing less. So let's get into now, it. Now, as much as we're hating on it, it can be a super helpful tool yes. to kind of see pieces of the major scale throughout the neck. Right, and major chords at the same time. It's mm -hmm. very effective. And again, we're not knocking on it. We're just kind of demystifying it. The whole premise is like, if you're in the key of C and you play anything in the key of C, it's gonna sound good. Like if, if Sean holds down a C chord, just a C chord. It's gonna sound great. I mean, amazing. Mm -hmm. So how do we use this? Well, I guess if we're, if we're writing songs, right? Yeah, sure. And Sean like, happens to come up with a chord progression in the key of C, well, then I'm going to use my Nashville scale to help write a little bit of melody slash harmony using these pieces of the same exact chords he's using. So Beautiful. What kind of, what kind of progression let's do you want to do? Let's uh, go start with D minor to yeah. F to A Ooh. to E minor. Whoa. So D minor, F, A, E minor. Yeah. So number-wise, okay. that would be a two. Then a four, yeah. Then then six, and then a three. And a three. I like it. So one, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna do it again. Just oh, set us up. But now I'm gonna like play more of the national. Uh, Like, you can do yeah. it any time. Uh, I was following your chords. For sure, yeah. But then I started playing the Nashville scale. It's going to push it, you where you need to go. Yeah, it's going sure. to create a little bit of a movement, a little bit of melody. So mm -hmm. uh, your challenge out there is write a song in the key of C that's original. Good luck. And... <laughs> And, and I kind of like that, that one was actually right there, really right? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> that, was, that was actually really impressive. <laughs> so, uh, Go find right. your stuff at 2463 anywhere else, else on YouTube. That sounds like good. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Off the top of my head. But I was going to say, that was that was tight. Maybe yeah. that, 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 that <laughs> will debut. So proud of myself. That will debut in our songwriting with friends. Uh, that <laughs> We're like good. hating on Nashville for taking credit, but I'm like, I just made a 2 4 <laughs> Man, that Nashville scale is awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, but anyway, the Nashville scale is uh, awesome if you know how to apply it. So there, that's how you apply it very quickly. Go write a song. I dare you, as good as that one right mm -hmm. there, and uh, record it, send it to us, and uh, we will judge it.